supercharging the Model Y. I've arrived here at North Perth Supercharger at Karen Up Shopping Centre. And as you can see, I arrived with 8% in the battery, which was around about where I wanted to end up. So I plugged it in and it starts to charge within a few seconds. And here is where I start the timer. So as you can see, it's beginning to crank up and eventually reaches uh, within 10 seconds or so. Um, sorry, 10% or so. It's there you go. It's hit 171 kilowatts per hour or over 1200 kilometers an hour, which is pretty reasonable it dropped back to 170 and then 169 at 10 percent but um, it wasn't too bad as you'll see later on in the video i've done a charging curve graph um, and it holds its level um, at um, about the 110 115 mark for quite a while so here we are it's beginning to get up it's already up to 12 percent after a minute it does say 40 minutes remaining what you'll notice is the timer goes down at this level every five minutes once it hits 15 minutes it starts to cut down by the minute so it'll go 14 13 12 but at the moment it goes 40 35 30. so what i'll do here is i'll jump the video at initially um, from the 15 percent when it gets there which happens uh, very quickly and then i'll go to 20 and then it'll be 30 40 50 just short little excerpts but the timer will jump with it so it's approaching 15 percent and it's at 126 kilowatts per hour it still says 40 minutes remaining we've only been going two minutes so that's what happens there so we'll jump ahead to 20 percent and it's down to 113 114 kilowatts there or 800 kilometers per hour being added so that's not too bad and then as it hits 25 percent it's at 112 kilometers per hour uh, sorry 112 kilowatts being added every hour or around the 800 kilometer range added and at 30 percent it's still at 111 and at 40 percent it's at 110 so it's a fairly flat curve at this point at 50 percent it drops to 98 which is still quite reasonable remember this is a, a version 3 supercharger so it is capable of 207 uh, 250 kilowatt output the model y will only take 170 tops as you saw at the beginning so at 70 percent it's at 66 which is still 470 kilometers per hour range being added 80 percent it's dropped off to 53 and what you notice now is that it takes a little bit longer to go through each 90 percent 40 kilowatts are being added um, now it hits 99 percent and as you can see it says two minutes remaining well it was a little bit more than that and then it said okay i'm calibrating that was after about um well a few minutes and and it was calibrating for approximately 12 minutes and as you can see here it's now been one hour one minute and some seconds when it hits charging complete 
Now, if we take a look at the charging curve graph, initially it went rocketing up to 171 at about 8% and came down to 170. Then it dropped down a bit. And as you can see, it was fairly flat and level from just under 20% up to 45%, fairly level. And then it was a fairly steady decline. There wasn't any big leaps and bounds in there. And eventually it got down to uh, the 99% when it was still at 23 kilowatts. When it was calibrating, it was taking in about nine kilowatts. So if we look at the actual length of times that it was taking, if we go from 10% to 99%, it was just over 47 minutes. If we go from 10 to 80%, just under 30 minutes, 29 minutes, 43 seconds. Um, and 10 to 90%, just under 37 minutes, 36 minutes, 52. And the usual one that people quote is the 20 to 80%. Um, that here was 24 minutes, seven seconds, which yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's not super fast, the slow bit is getting from that 90, 95% to the 100%. As, as you saw in the video, my battery at 99% started saying calibrating. And it was calibrating, still drawing 12 kilowatts. It went down to about 9 kilowatts as it hit the 100%. But it was at that level for 10 to 12 minutes, which is... I don't know why that is um, just one of those things, I suppose. But you don't always need to take it to 100%. If you want to take it 100%, don't do it at a supercharger. Do it at home. Plug it in overnight. It doesn't matter how long it takes that last little bit. So this is an LFP battery in a brand spanking new Model Y. And it took... Well, to go from 8% up to the 100%, it took just over an hour, but it did spend a lot of time calibrating. Most of the time, I expect when I'm out and about, I'll keep it at 90, maybe 95%. And then once a week, whack it up to 100%. When I charge at home, when I'm asleep, I won't worry about it. Well, I hope you found that interesting. Um, I will... Uh, do some more videos on the Model Y as time goes by. And uh, so thanks very much. And don't forget, click that like and subscribe buttons down here. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye.